हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ शारिक शॉल एंड आई एम ए नेटिव ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स अशीष सर फॉर गिविंग मीज अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर माई जर्नी विद योर गाइज ऑन हिज यूट्यूब प्लेटफॉर्म विच इज़ आई एस गेट वेज सो द सोल पर्पज ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो इज टू शेयर द एक्सपीरियंस regarding the preparation of competitive examinations and i hope it will be helpful for those who are still in their preparation phase so starting from the first i have graduated from yogananda college of engineering and technology jammu for which i got the admission after qualifying jammu and kashmir common entrance test so i have graduated in 2019 and uh, after that i started self preparing for gate 2020 through standard books and some online resources at that point of time there were not much resources as of now and only a few channels were available who used to cater the civil engineering stream so anyhow i qualified gate 2020 with an overall score of 45 but i wasn't quite satisfied with my performance and i knew that there is a huge scope of improvement so later i joined medizi online course and initially my goal was only to crack or appear for gate 2021 so during this process of coaching so i focused mainly on notes making because i was um, somehow anticipating that this journey could be long and i need the adequate resources which were my handwritten notes so between all these as the time passed and after the completion of my coaching so jammu and kashmir service selection board board announced 200 posts of junior engineer and soon after that soon after a month JK Public Service Commission also announced 45 posts of assistant engineer which were advertised after a long gap of 6 years so i was very much keen to serve my own union territory so my main area of focus remain these two examinations and uh, after that uh, during these preparation stages as you all know that uh, the covid outbreak after the covid outbreak and the covid lockdown there was enough time to invest in my studies and the paper was as the paper was postponed multiple times so i made the best use of this time and gone through all my handwritten notes several times i would say approximately i have gone through 10 10 or 12 times so through my notes and uh, i have sold almost uh, all the mcqs books which were available in market like uh, gupta this khurmi and uh, agor ssc j and esc previous year so then i was then i was attempted and i was attempting this um, test series which were available in the market so and i was getting decent scores in all of these tests so last but then not the least I found Ashish sir's channel on YouTube after completing the previous test. So I was quite initially I was quite confident of my preparation, but after attempting the test series made by Ashish sir, I was quite astonished with the results. So as I was scoring below average, so that made me frightened and I felt demotivated. Firstly, and uh, I contacted sir. and told him everything about the hardships which was which was i facing so he was very kind and helpful and guided me personally throughout the whole journey actually the reason was that after a point i realized that that the reason for the low scores was that the all the test series which were available in the market had repetitive type of questions that is that questions i have already seen in any other test series or you know or in, or in some book so then i realized that uh, the test series prepared by ashish sir was completely opposite to opposite to that and he made sure that after attempting his test you feel that there is a huge scope of 
improvement and you will never remain over confident so this was the plus point of this test series so i started thorough reading of the subjects for which i also took the help of standard books and at the later stages uh, i was getting i was getting good marks so finally then i was able to qualify both the examinations so now you now i have joined as assistant engineer in pwd rnb department jammu and kashmir government so this was all about my journey up till now so finally i want to share some do's and don'ts with you which you must follow while preparation for any competitive exam so my first point would remain that choose your goals wisely that is what you want to achieve in life you should have a clear mindset about that i would strongly not recommend multitasking so don't change your streams if you are passionate about that stick to that whatever the circumstances remain so this would be my first point so and second point would be don't be over confident after achieving a good score in any of your test because as you know that education is a long and endless process you cannot cover the whole civil engineering ever there will be certain things which are beyond your knowledge always stay grounded and be calm and start welcoming the new concepts so the my third point will be identify your mistakes and this will be done after the proper analysis of your tests and try to avoid these mistakes in future do not underestimate even a single topic or a single question which will appear in front of your eyes and my fourth point will be do not get distracted do not get distracted by any of the following things like social media or television or excess time wastage in outings and other things personally i wasn't active on social media platforms for more than 2 years except telegram because i used to attempt quizzes there if you can't avoid it at least you should keep it to the minimum so my next point will be prepare a proper time table so and try to follow it because it's hard to follow i know but you must follow it so don't get over exhausted and never force yourself in studying take frequent breaks and i used and i also used to take frequent breaks and i used to sleep 8 hours a day because i never used to compromise with my health which is a primary thing and lastly i would say be patient and do not panic so as we also know that we are not preparing a maggi here so it's not a 2 minute process it's a long process and it takes time so for some it may take 1 to 2 years and for some it may take even more than that but at least never lose hope there will be bad days and good days but at the end you will always be on the gaining side so never feel low at any point always stay motivated so so these are the things i wanted to share with you and uh, if i have left anything or you want to know something about more about the preparation you can ask me in the comment section i will be replying to your queries so i think uh, that's enough for now and uh, i wish you all the best best of luck keep trying hard and keep shining thank you